Hi guys, this is Jeremy Phantom or Xenix, whatever you want to call me. And I am back since from like December or January with a let's play of Monster Hunter Try. And I guess it's called Try because this is the third time I've tried to record this. <laughs> okay, let's hope it works this time. In game. Try four. Start game. New game, of course, this is a new file, I don't have a character on it yet. Kind of weird, it gives you the option to not be able to, like, continue. And, let's make him Jeremy. Then, oops, I'm gonna make myself a dark, I'm trying to get the hand shade, I guess. So, type 2. Face color is gonna be like ridic ridiculous. Uh, face type. I'll be able to remember two. Eye type. I'm gonna put this with the two less. Uh, features. Now we look even more possessed. Uh, I kinda like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, color. I'm gonna make it like really crazy. Uh, voice. Hmm. Uh, let me think. Sorry about that really loud click. Uh, I can't hear his voice because I can't hear the game right now. But I guess I'll just go to voice one. Okay. And I'm gonna let the video play itself out and hope you're enjoying it. And this is a weird, pretty weird video, honestly. So, there's a ship. Had in the open sea. And we've got over there. This is close, close by. The black ship. This is so weird. So, is this game where we're on a ship? Oh, no, we're on an island with a guy who has a bone. Just kidding, he just has a lot of bones. Same difference. Oh, hi, Grandpa. I kind of have a jerk. You can just push that little girl into the water and he just keeps chuckling for himself. And there he is with his bones. That looks creepy. Oh, he's gonna help the girl out. And then we want to probably want some good back. Later. Why would he want all his bones? What's the point of that? That girl's like, oh, look at those bones. WTF? What is that shark doing with a tattoo on its chin? Oh, showing off some man butts. Kind of like a design for this by Capcom. Uh, so, yeah. This this place looks like it's been pulled down by the government. It looks like a hobo town built in the water. Because it's literally just made of like wooden planks. Looks like our pirates would live. Oh, Peta's probably gonna get angry at that. That's killing fish in video game so bad. If you played Super League Boy, you know. I mean, I mean, you know about that whole thing. Kind of. Do you see how those cats skating? That makes them like more samurai hats. Like that, that guy seems nice. Giving the cats some fish. Okay. And they're giving vegetables in return. Okay. Cat farmers, maybe? We'll get more on that later. But for now, there's an earthquake. And we're gonna have to s save them. Like usual, so I'm not, I'm, there's no real story to this game, so I'm just gonna skip all the text. Basically, here's the entire story. There's a giant monster called the Legit Geo Chris Calls and these earthquakes. These kind of people are afraid. I'm a monster hunter. I'm gonna go out and kill the monster, but I'm too much of a noob right now, so I'm gonna have to go, and for that, I'm gonna have to kill some smaller monsters to lead up to it. Of course, it seems like all these small monsters are a pretty big deal, too, but uh, they don't care. All they care about is the Legit Geo Chris. It was Oleviathan, which means it's a sea monster. There are only really two types of monsters in this game. There are Oleviathons and the Wiggins. And then there's annoying old people who are mean to old children. So, basically what you're going to want to do right when you get the money is you're going to want to talk to the outfitter, who you won't really want to talk to much after this. 
I'm going to go ahead and buy full leather armor. In fact, the guy gives you literally exactly enough money to this, so that's kind of encouraging me. See, I just use all my money to get leather armor. And now I'm not naked! Yay! So, I'm going to steal from this little person. Uh -oh. Yeah, this game, this game is really good it's for the Wii. It's only $30. It's online, it's comparable to Xbox 360 and PS3. Drop into some dedicated servers, play around, drop out. There are some neat friend codes, there's an in-game friends list. Uh, in fact, just like three days ago, me and Reagan, or former Reagan 100, did a live stream of this on online, and too bad you missed it. Or, cool, we were there, either way. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of text, and all the time talking about is how you play. And since I already know how to play, um, and if you're watching me, I'll be showing you how to play. You don't really need to read the text. Oh, they're also telling you where to go, but, I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. He's basically saying, go to that little yellow tent on the map. But first off, I'm going to grab some herbs so they can heal me, and in case I get into a bad situation, I will walk them. And if I can get any, um, herbs, I'll never get you can combine something with an herb to make a potion, and those are better. Herbs are kind of like a newbie way to heal. Well, potions are like a newbie way to heal. Herbs are like an uber newbie way. Anyways, I'm going to be doing this let's play and a secondary let's play at, uh, simultaneously. Like, I'll do two videos of Green Week and two videos of Battle Week. And I'm going to be keeping that a secret for now. And the day after this uploads, if all goes right, you will see what's going to be. And if all doesn't go right, and it goes into probably will since the god of what's plays hates me, um, it'll just be a skill bottom. So, yeah. Uh, in case you guys don't know me from before, I was going to, I was going all happy, I was going to do some let's plays, I was getting ready. Uh, way back in December, actually, in January, like the beginning of 2011, end of 2010, and things didn't turn out so well. The school sucks. So yeah. So it looks like that some gangsters came up and like shot this place down. What the heck are they taking? It's like wearing a pink shirt and he's like smiling, standing there looking at nothing. Whatever he's, wherever he's on, I want to take some. Let's see if he can give me any. Like, um, let's see if he can give me anything useful. Besides some storyline. It would be amazing if someone made a mod this game where he, like, where they changed, like, the, the food and stuff to meth. Yeah. Basically, all you do is give him some raw meat to continue the story. Yeah, it's not really that good. It's just how you kill this monster. How to carve it. Yay, we're done. So, this game is really good, and I was just picking it up. And if any of you guys get it, we can totally put our mind together sometimes, because my main character is... Well, he's level 50, which is like saying you're level 50 on World of Warcraft. And, um, he has basically all the really good stuff, so... If anyone's out there has this game, he can play some time. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be playing this like a guide, but I'm not gonna be playing this like a let's play per se either. I'm gonna be playing it so that if you need help with the game, this will help you, but I'm gonna be playing it so if you've never played the game and just want entertainment, you can watch this for that also. But I guess I've had plenty of time to perfect all my jokes and whatnot after the third time trying to record this. I hate him for studio and audacity. I wish they could just make a program where you could do all of it in one, but no, you have to make it. Yeah. Talk to this guy, he says you need to go kill some carnivores and go give any resources because we're going to make you kill some monsters in order to rebuild that place where the gangsters shot. This is the Wyvarian Artisan. He's the little guy who looks like he's from Gremlins. Um, he'll make you weapons if you give him money and the required materials. Very soon you'll realize Outfitter, the person where you can buy armors and weapons, isn't really a good place to go because she'll only give you real movie stuff. And he's the guy you can go to to get all of the stuff that is actually worth it. So it looks like uh, this game has thousands of maybe of weapons. But there's only like seven weapon types. Sword and shield is fast damage, but it doesn't do very much. 
Great Sword is slow hits, but it does a lot. Hammer, it's kind of like the Great Sword and Sword and Shield combined, but it does impact damage. I can't really explain. Um, then there's Lances, which are one of my first- Lances and Long Swords are my two favorites. Long Swords are good because you can do these crazy combos. And Lances are good because, when you think about it, after using it, you really never have to sheath the weapon to run away and dodge. You can just keep on tanking with it. But, you'll see that later. Basically, I'm supposed to go to Area 6, kill some Velociraptors, or Jaggies, like the technical called, and come back, and apparently killing the Velociraptors makes a base come back to life. It's the whole idea about resources in this game is kind of loose and kind of stupid, but oh well. And, well, I'll see you guys next time, because it's on the minutes, so... This has been fun. See you next time where we can fight, actually fight something. I'll wait till the cut teams over. Yeah, these guys are like crazy. They're on some kind of mess or something. Goodbye.